Locals are calling for a major change to Dunedin's rental market. Aging homes in the city are making people sick, and the University Students Association says it needs to be dealt with. That's a problem nationwide, but it seems to be particularly bad here in Dunedin. And of course it's probably um, come to light with the recent flooding as well, and uh, with what's going to be a long cold winter. The OUSA refers many scarfies to student health, dealing with illness caused by poor living conditions. Critics argue minimum housing standards would drive up rent and price people out of the market. But Keeney says that's no excuse, as a housing warrant of fitness would have many positives for residents. It would definitely help uh, their general well-being and their health. There's no doubt about it, and it's something that OUSA has been advocating for for a long time. Uh, regardless of what it's called, there should be minimum standards that provide safe, warm housing. The Students' Association delivers 14-day notices to landlords over tenancy issues in a bid to improve standards. Keeney says a small number of property owners don't bother maintaining homes, and it's hoped the promotion of good landlords will reduce that minority. Each year, of course, we run the Landlord Awards, so we're actually promoting landlords that do a really great job of um, looking after their rental properties and their tenants, and that has uh, grown over the years, and it's really delightful to see every year that we have more and more landlords who are being nominated. She wants to see better rental housing across the city before more residents end up suffering the consequences of living in substandard homes. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.